Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking about tanning and sun exposure and we're joined by Dr. Marriott Maloney, who is the Chief of Dermatology. Is there such thing as a healthy tan? A tan is the body's response to sun exposure and it is a protective mechanism to actually limit the amount of ultraviolet rays that can penetrate the skin and get in and damage skin. Why is melanoma more dangerous than other forms of skin cancer? Well, melanoma is rarer. It is a cancer of the pigment producing cells. Um, and it is known to spread throughout the body causing uh, death in many people who have advanced disease. Um, and that is in contradistinction to the other types of skin cancers that while they can, are not well known to cause death like melanoma does. What role does someone's age play in their likeliness of developing melanoma? What happens with sun exposure, either in a tanning bed or outdoors, is that you damage the DNA, the very building block of the cells. That damage, um, as cells divide, can lead to skin cancer. And those cells divide throughout your life to repopulate the skin. Um, and so the earlier the damage, the greater the opportunity um, for sort of nonsense cells to be created that can go on and, and cause skin cancers. In looking for telltale signs of skin cancer, does melanoma look any different than any less threatening carcinoma? Melanoma tends to be, in most instances, a mole that is black in color, um, has irregular borders, and is changing. We call them the ABCDs of, um, that we look for. Um, a is asymmetry, uh, B is border irregularity, C is color, that blue-black color or loss of color in a mole that was previously pigmented. And we used to call the D diameter of greater than um, five millimeters. Um, but we now know that uh, even small lesions can be melanomas. How many years does it take to typically see the effects of skin damage from the sun? We do see an increasing incidence of melanoma as people age. Um, and so we know the effects usually follow 20 to 30 years after intense sun exposure. If we increase sun exposure down to our children with ultraviolet tanning and a lot of beach exposure, and they have tremendous sun exposure when they're 10 and 12 and 15, and you add 20 to that, we're now looking at skin cancers in the 30s. 